Uh, this is called Big Bang Creation Theory. <laughs> is this place just a phase on the way to heaven? Just the middle ground between being nothing and being something that'll last forever? Or is this it a passing life that when it ends, it really ends and nothing comes after this and the afterlife is just a dream and the Bible isn't real, it's just a glamorized fairy tale with a made up hell in heaven cause when you're seven you'll believe anything your parents say and your parents will say anything to make you behave to raise you the right way so when you're older and successful they can say it's because of them. And this whole Jesus came to save you, is that really true? That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to die for me and you? That whosoever believe in him should not perish but eat from the tree of everlasting fruit? Or is this truth? Just a myth that we believe, something made up in our minds, a false hope that we perceive, just the dream of being immortal? Something we make up because we, we want to live like Peter Pan and never land and never grow older. <laughs> Did God really say let there be light and there was light and go on to create the world in six days and take sand and make man and breathe life and watch his chest start to raise as the air filled his lungs and his heart began to pump and the blood began to run and he opened eyes to live life for the first time? And then he really put him back into a deep sleep and while he dreamed dreams he took out a rib and with the lick of his lips and perhaps a little spit he molded Eve around it. <laughs> or do the scientists and all their wisdom, do they really have the answer? That the universe was buried deep inside a black hole of intense heat of singularity that slowly spread and expanded like a cancer. That first there was nothing and then there was something and we're really not too sure of why or how but Trust me, we'll come up with something as long as we can keep God out. Yes. We know it's a little complex and it has perplex and our minds a little vexed, but unless we figure out something, we might have to confess that there's a God. Come on. So the whole world's confused on how we all started, and I'm starting to wonder where Darwin ended up, and if it really matters now that the world is falling apart. Come on. Now that funnel clouds fall from the sky like raindrops and when the Dow drops it has people jumping out of windows. Windows that break when the earth starts to shake and the ground beneath us disappears like a hungry mouth ready to swallow like a tsunami wave above us ready to devour it. Our worst and our worst fears are our best friends always around the newspaper headlines. Reading the paper while eating pork rinds wondering what's for dinner when little girl in third world just wants a drink. But the water's all polluted and it stinks And she thinks if she drinks that she might be sick And there goes another murder and another rape and crime tape And another case of who done it Come on, sorry <laughs> And we all living in fear when the next plane is gonna crash into a building Or when the next terrorist attack's gonna go off revealing our lack of security But we still keep sleeping with our dollar bills Staring at Mr. Benjamin repeating in God we trust. And sure, money can buy a lot of things, but can it buy eternity? No way, that price was paid in blood. And when it all stops to rust away, where are you gonna turn when the money is not worth the paper it's been printed on? And your so-called friends have turned their back and leave your feeling burned when the stars in the sky are shaking. Take when the stars in the sky are shaking, threatening to fall like fruit from a tree, the earth's quaking and taking our breath away, creating giant waves in the sea when the sun's playing black out and the moon turns to blood. When you wake up and all you feel is hopeless, will that be enough? When you got nowhere else to turn, will you finally turn to God? You see, I know this world won't last forever. When it ends, where will we be? Will we really be nothing, blackness, blacker than the deepest sea? Well, life as we know it cease, so we can all be at ease, because nothing comes next unless those crazy Christians aren't just wishing, but the really dish and truth that the iconic Jesus Christ really was crucified and really did die for me. And you. So when that time comes, and the last breath has filled your lungs, and it slowly starts to run. Your heart gives one last fist pump, head slumped over, body still here. When you open your dead eyes, I, I pray you're in glory because of what you believed in. And that you're not burning because you were so deceived. <laughs>